Richard Mille is obviously a French brand with a little Swiss something to it, but uh, how does the French public uh, respond to the Richard Mille brand? Uh, better and better. Um, you know, originally there was a lot of um, necessity to increase the watch culture in our beautiful country, but step by step, uh, and thanks to uh, those kind of uh, um, organization, uh, we can promote the watch culture, not only for us, but uh, for everybody. We can see that uh, the knowledge of uh, high-end watches is getting better and better, yes. Your watches present a very high level of technicity. Do people understand this uh, technical dimension in, in watches? Yeah, even sometimes even better than salespeople because uh, we, we, we have a, a watch knowledge that is getting absolutely incredible. I mean, people uh, have a, a connaissance of uh, uh, the technical data, all the details, that is totally incredible. They have a knowledge uh, that is unbelievable. Do you feel that this knowledge uh, is also as present here in uh, in, uh, in France than it more could be in, uh, in in Asia, for instance? No, more and more. It has taken years to uh, to increase this knowledge, but we can say today people are more and more equipped. And you see, it's very crowded. It's very popular. So there is a real love for um, technical watches, <laughs> and um, this love is developing uh, year after year. After that, the money power. <laughs> of French people is something different. <laughs> yeah. But we talk about technicity, but before everything it's emotion, isn't it? Yes, exactly. And what I like with the shows like that is that you have many kind of brands with affordable prices and it's a very good, you can have entry level and it's very good to mix all kind of brands uh, brands proposing uh, affordable products and brands like ours that are very expensive. But I like the fact that everybody is re-knitted. Well, thank you very much for your time, Richard. Thank, thank you. you. To you.